China is developing two types of anti-satellite missile to challenge the United States' dominance of space, which is a headline for an article written by Bill Gertz, a military analyst and senior editor of the Washington Free Beacon, on March 25. Admiral Cecil D. Haney, the commander of the United States Strategic Command, told Gertz of his concerns about the build-up of Russia and China's nuclear forces. He also said terror groups like the Islamic States may launch sophisticated cyber attacks against the United States. Haney said further that the United States should take seriously the prospect of a Chinese attack against its satellites in orbit. The threat in space, I fundamentally believe, is a real one. It's been demonstrated, Haney told Gertz, saying that China's first anti-satellite missile test in 2007, created tens of thousands of pieces of debris and the country has continued to carry out anti-satellite tests until July 2014. Last year's test did not create debris however because China did not do a hit-to-kill kind of thing, Haney said. Gertz said the anti-satellite missile used during the test on July 23 last year was identified as the DM-1 by the Pentagon. China has a second anti-satellite missile known as the DM-2 which was tested in 2013. This missile is developed to hit satellites in high Earth orbit, where intelligence, navigation and targeting satellites are positioned. Haney said that the United States has already taken steps to deal with this new kind of threat. The Obama administration's budget for fiscal 2016 contains adequate funding for investment in space protection capabilities, according to Haney. These defenses are mainly described as passive, including space situational awareness or intelligence on space threats. Haney said tactics, techniques and procedures for space defense should also be developed. When asked about developing offensive space capabilities, Haney said it will be included into the space protection program.